Okay. So this is going to be another best of one uh, scenario going on here. Uh, but this deck sort of looks to play around it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we have Karn, the great creator in our deck. So we have a sideboard of, of a bunch of one ofs like, uh, Sentinel Totem, Sorcerer Spyglass, Thematic Compass. You know, actually, um, I'm going to put Fountain of Renewals in here. No, not Fountain of Renewal. I'm going to put Navigator's Compass in here over a sorcerer spyglass because i didn't actually in our short stint just then of playing the red black deck i didn't see a whole lot of uh planeswalkers that i cared about i'm gonna keep immortal sun though because that card's hilarious it does more than than that so so there are more aggro decks so i'd rather have this navigator's compass and the trick is you get navigator's compass plus helm of the host and you just keep gaining three life is the idea based off of um karn animating it with its plus one and then helm of the host copying it uh i've played this deck in best of three before and it felt lacking because when you go to game two and game three uh you sort of don't have a sideboard because your sideboard is is a wish board for masterminds acquisition and karn the great creator so we're going to try it in best of one where Game ones are usually pretty decent. Uh, we do have an aggro plan, with, you know, anti-aggro plan with Wild Growth Walker and some Explorer creatures. But the main idea is to ramp out Nyssa and then use either Mastermind's Acquisition or Karn to grab the pieces we need from our sideboard and lock the opponent out of the game in one fashion or another. So let's go do that. Do I want the new sleeves? What sleeves am I using? I'm using Golgari sleeves. Let's use the new sleeves, since I got them. And you know what? You know what? We need to... We need to not be Sarkin for this. I am yes, you are. Alright, let's... Let's delve into our second foray of, of best of one. So there's this weird thing I've noticed, and it seems to only happen in the best of one queue, is when the screen is loading for uh, for the game to start, it makes the noise, like that kind of noise. That noise right there. Uh, so we're going to play Arboreal Grazer, put in our Memorial to Folly, and say go. Next turn, we get to Wild Growth Walker plus Overgrown Tune Tapped, which is Dece. And say go. Yes, I know my O3 can technically attack, but that's not the life we're living here. And as tempting as it is to um, slam Karn here off the fourth land, I'm actually going to... I shouldn't have played that land. I'm going to ramp a little bit here first. Yeah, see, I should have played Blast Zone. So we'll have six mana next turn. Don't know quite what I'm getting with Karn. Nope, that's the wrong button. Um, let's see. I think I'm just going to start getting, like, Meteor Golem and Helm of the Host. I will my <laughs> or, go 
God Pharaohs? Yeah, God Pharaohs. Boop. A boop. We got Assassin's Trophy to cover a thing. All right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It feels like if you're halfway decent with game one, this format is okay. Kind of want to draw land. But as is, this is fine. Uh-oh. Trouble in paradise. Um, this exposes my paradise druid, but I already have the next land anyway. Uh, okay. Just wanted lands, but you do you, fam. Uh, Grixis. Sure. Shrug. Grixis could be an issue. Evil, but not I, I think not I'm actually just going to get Sorcerer Spyglass here. I mostly just want to peek at their hand. Sacrifices a Planeswalker, sure. Oh, we drew a land. Okay. So, in that case... Nickel Ball is Dragon God is the one I want, right? Yes. Um. Yep. Sure. Sure. Gosh, I keep drawing cards. Whatever am I to do with my life? Let us begin. Let us, uh, begin. Um, man, it's so slow. Uh, I don't think we're winning this one, quite frankly. I'm just gonna grab Helm of the Host. Like I have a backup Karn for this Vraska's Contempt. I will be better prepared next time. Next time. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I should have gotten the Karn down around these three cards. Ooh, shocking. Ooh, Liliana. Alright, alright. Oh, gosh. Compass. 
Why do I need compass? What does compass do again? Oh, thematic compass. Yeah, maybe. To like ramp out. The problem is it just costs so much. So I down tick by two and then this dies. Um, hmm. No, I don't have a second. I forgot that I don't have a second um, spyglass anymore. I'm so used to having two spyglasses and just down ticking and then playing it and canceling this out. This looks like a fun new toy. This costs five to equip, so I need a land. Please with the land. Oh, they're killing this anyway. Uh. And I drew the land. <laughs> All right. We're just too far gone. So if Karn was still there, I play the land. Uh, I plus one on the spyglass, equip Helm of the Host to it, make a copy, shut off their Liliana. But that didn't happen. Definitely misplayed a little bit there. Probably should just name Liliana from the start, but then they play Nicol Bolas and I'm sad. I don't know. I would like to play first, please. Oh, it worked. Uh, yeah. We'll keep this. It's not amazing, but we get to Jade Light on too, so I will take it. Find me something good. Uh, we have all the ramp and none of the payoff. Holding Nissa's Triumph, because if we find a Nissa, then getting our utility lands is more important than... Sure. It's more important than... Um... I forgot what I was saying. Oh, then finding two forests. A planeswalker deck, you say? Um... Uh, kind of want to kill that, but... Just gonna thin my deck now. I've drawn too many lands. Two, four, five, six. Yeah. Sure. Mana dorks, go. I have this feeling that they have a lot of basics so that killing this doesn't really do much. Field of Ruin, however, is a great answer for it. Field of Ruin is A plus over Assassin's Trophy to kill lands. Sure. Killed my 1-1. One, one. Taste it. <laughs> I love the thud when it, like, when a zero power creature hits. All right, 
Well, we have answers. They just haven't been asking a ton of questions recently. I guess. I guess I'll play this. That's my one three. That's my one three. Sure. Nah. <laughs> When you've drawn nine lands and have two removal spells in hand for the empty board. <laughs> like, they're not playing lands. They're not casting this. <laughs> so their hand is stacked full of things they don't want to cast? I assume just all counters and removal? Sure. Mm-hmm. Ooh, they topped. Do we finally get to see their evil plan? Nope. Paradise Druid. And one... Uh, that's great. Kasmina. Sure. I will have to form a new plan. I found something to target. I found something to target. Counter me, bro. Yep. I figured as much. Gosh, this is a Mortal Sun matchup, isn't it? Oh, boy. Yay, magic. We'll get him in game two, guys. Oh, I said I wasn't going to make that joke again. Uh... Uh, I think we're dead. Taking 12 next turn. And then dead after that, and they're going to counter this anyway. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Well, everything we won with Rakdos, we're now losing. 
Uh, nope. I don't play Magic Online or Paper Magic, so that's not a set design for me. Man, this hand is close. All right, well, this hand is a decent mono green wild growth walker hand, so got that going for us, I guess. Feather. Feather. Um. I'm just going to kill this and then play my second Wild Growth Walker out. Use all of my manas. Build, build up the defenses. And then make this Jade Light Ranger even better. Our Boreal Grazer is here to to forgive us of our sins or something. I don't know. Yep, this is best of one. Wanted to try things out. So here we are. Oh. Yep. Aside from earlier beta, this is the first time I have played best of one. I assume this is getting shocked. Deafening Clarion in your... Okay. Anyway. Uh, they know about this one, so I'll play it. I think I'm off of this deck in both formats, though. Ooh, a Gideon. Together, we can banish evil from this place. Masterminds? No? Oh, that works. <laughs> Curse the darkness. The darkness did this to me. Who turned out the lights? I hate it. Oh. Mastermind's acquisition. Law lands. This deck has a lot of lands, though, doesn't it? It has, like... That's 25? I mean... I mean... Oh. Excuse me. I think I muted. What, I sneeze and then suddenly you want to be on my lap? What's wrong with you, cat? I do have a friend. I don't I don't really need the the eighth mana, so use this as a deal four. Deal four gain three shrug. Oh my gosh. Got myself another deal three. Or a gain three. Ooh, gets the game four, huh? He doesn't want to stick around, chat. I'm sorry. Oh, they're going to kill this. Oh, definitely Clarion. Cute, cute. And get lifelink. Oh, that's cute. So they gain seven back up to 15. And I lose seven down to seven. Masterminds acquisition, please.
Uh... All right. So we're going to go until this pip goes away. Just for the record. If this pip disappears, I'm I'm off this deck. <laughs> Lands for days. Again, 25 lands. I don't know if I should change that based on the fact that I'm in best of one now and it has that formula or whatever, but... Keep. This hand only needs a land. And it technically has three lands. Actually, okay. This hand's perfect. Discovery. Look inside. Find what you need. All right, so chromatic black it is. <laughs> yeah, me too, actually. Uh, okay. So, <clears throat> deck our opponent is playing uses Chromatic Lantern and a bunch of swamps. You're so loud. To uh, play essentially five color nonsense. Hi, Karn. Buddy, I've told you. Our you can't be on my lap when I'm streaming. It's just clunky and awkward. Huh, a card of our own. I think I'm going to wait on it, though. Graveyard. Library. This actually attacks Karn fairly well. Mm. Well, I don't have any more Explorer creatures in hand, so that one. Time has come. All right. Um, so because they down ticked their Karn, that means I get to kill this. I have let my friends down. And I get to kill this. Did I play land this turn? Anyone remember if I played a land? Because if I didn't play a land, I can Nissa's Triumph. I was on the draw. Four, five, six, five. All right. Good call. Oh, I played a land. I ramped them with, with the Assassin's Trophy. That's where we miscounted. I ramped them with Assassin's Trophy. No, it's okay. I made the same mistake. Uh, this is great. This can go get us Spyglass. And we can name it Eugene. Uh, um... Yeah. I'm 
They're kind of far off of casting this, huh? Oh, I counted wrong. Wait, what? Where did red come from? Oh, this makes two mana of two different colors. Never mind. I'm dumb. I just don't know how things work. Uh... I don't think this deck is good in best of one or best of three. <laughs> I think this deck is a mistake. We don't actually have any interesting spells for that to hit. Is the funny part. We have like Assassin's Trophy, Nissa's thingy. Uh, Nissa's Triumph, Mastermind's Acquisition, Assassin's Trophy, and Cast Down. Oh. Well, well, the land shall conquer you. <sighs> I guess I killed that one first. Wow, so the odds, well, we've cast one Assassin's Trophy, so there are two left, and then there's one cast down, because we have one in hand, and then two Masterminds and one, ugh. I can help you no longer. Well, Nick also exiles something, and I did not want that. Sure, let's see what they hit. Assassin's Trophy, of course they hit Assassin's Trophy. All right. I will get a swamp here. So I do get to kill both their planeswalkers, but then they have Ugin in hand. No, wait. Well, if they down tick, yeah. Stand down. Uh, what do they get? That does literally nothing against us, which is fantastic. Sure, they draw a card off of their Ugin thingy, but... Oh, gosh. I would like to draw just a relevant spell ever, essentially. I'm I'm bitter. See, look, Tom, I gave him a chance to grab this. <laughs> Ugin, you're enough of all. Now they get to kill this too, because it's not hexproof when it's tapped. Oh, they could also just do that. Makes sense. <laughs> uh... Another time, planeswalker. Another time, planeswalker. All right, this is where we are. Um. Assassin's Trophy, I know they're, hmm. They're actually pretty primed to hit Mastermind's acquisition off of their thingy, off of, off of this. Because through two Assassin's Trophy, one cat, no, we're through all three Assassin's Trophy, half of our cast downs. So there's one cast down, one Nissus Triumph, and two Masterminds acquisitions. Uh, 
My deck has so many bad cards in it. <laughs> Mono bad cards. It's like... A bunch of bad cards strung together by some, like, halfway decent cards, and then there's also Nissa. That's a 4-4. Four four. All right. What do we get? Um... Four mana. Yeah. Oh right, we have we have Paradise Druid too, so five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana, so we have five mana at our disposal. Probably. We have time. Yeah. All right. Let's pray they don't have duress. <laughs> oh, wow. They hit the other one. <laughs> they hit the other one. <laughs> oh. Oh, this game. No. Oh, sorry. No, there's no more, there's no more trophy in the deck, so... Hey, Incendium. There's no more trophy in the deck, so that's good. This is okay. Surprisingly, this is fine. Be be your end. Yeah. They do, in fact, have two huge Karn tokens. Uh, but this draws us an extra card a turn, and we have two chump blockers? Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, they use the Karn ability. That's uh, scary. I think we died. Uh, probably? Shrug, we'll, we'll see next turn. Oh, they hit the other Mastermind's Acquisition. There's, like, Nissa's Triumph left. So that does absolutely nothing for them. Uh, off of these. Yeah. They, uh, actually, more accurately, they grabbed Mastermind's Acquisition from our deck. And then they grab Nicol Bolas, and then they enter Planar Beaconed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 6, 12, 14. Don't really need the mana at this point. All right, deck. The annoying thing is we don't have Mastermind's Acquisition left, so we can't grab Ritual of Soot. Let's find out together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right so so when all we had to do was draw a card this deck provide us with a land um 
apparently this deck isn't good in either best of one or best of three let's see how much mana do we have at that stage in the game we had we had what like 10 mana we'll say we had 10 mana so that means we could if we had drawn a karn we could have gotten god pharaoh statue and then helm of the host and maybe scrape by but then like karn dies the next turn yeah we were just dead nissa into karn might have won because we would have had no they had three six sixes yeah i think we were just dead i don't think there was anything we could have drawn um yeah and an interesting choice here not that it would have mattered because both of our masterminds acquisitions were gone um finale of eternity over um ritual of soot is pretty bad there uh we didn't have any cast downs left because we cast one and they cast one so yep <laughs> literally we were we were out of uh assassin's trophy out of cast down out of nissa's tri triumph and out of, yeah, we had no spells left in our deck. We literally just had Karn, Nissa, and our crappy creature package. So that's a thing. <laughs> uh, we could have gotten Thematic Compass and fogged one of their six sixes every turn. That that doesn't sound like a great plan. Yep. Yeah, anyway, deck is bad. Don't play it. 